everyone, welcome back to my Taiwan Travel Journal series. Today, I'll be sharing day 3 of our trip, a day spent exploring the beautiful Sun Moon Lake, tasting new foods, and wrapping up with a fun dining experience in Taichung. If you missed the earlier videos, make sure to check out the links in the description box below. One video shows how I gathered all my trip details even though I did not take notes. And the other takes you through day one and day two of our journey. Let's dive right into day three. Before we proceed to our next stop, let's journal about our time at Sun Moon Lake. For the scrapbook entry, I'll be using my Camel Traveler's Notebook in the standard size by the Traveler's Company, along with the 003 unruled insert. I'll mix personal photos and a few pieces from brochures to capture the spirit of our Sun Moon Lake cruise. Let's go through my process and I'll share some tips along the way for creating a meaningful travel journal spread. I like to arrange photos in a way that tells a story. Here, I've chosen shots from Marriott Cruise, the gloomy lake views, and a snapshot of the famous Chinese tea eggs we tried. So when arranging your photos, try placing them in chronological order. This little dog illustration from the brochure and the go 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 text add a touch of personality to the page. It's a small detail but it brings a fun and playful vibe to your spread. Don't worry if there's a text already inside the speech bubble, you can easily cover it up with a scrap of paper and write your own message. This way you can customize it to fit your journal entry and make it more personal. For a little variety, I angled the tea egg photo slightly. It adds a casual look to the layout. You can try tilting some photos or illustration just a bit to create a sense of movement, especially if you're working with a lot of rectangular elements. In this spread, I also capture how the gloomy weather affected our experience and how warm and flavorful the tea eggs were. So don't forget to add reflections on how you felt during each activity. It makes the journal more personal and captures those moments vividly. If you'll notice, I left some white space around the images and text. I've written a few notes around the photos to keep a nice balance on the page. So as a tip, try to keep your text around the edges or in between photo clusters to maintain a clean layout so it doesn't feel overcrowded. So you can leave some areas blank so that the elements have room to breathe. It helps each part of your layout stand out without feeling cramped. To keep everything organized, I added the date. This is useful when you want to flip through later. So that's my layout for Sun Moon Lake. Now let's dive into our next stops for day three.
Now let's go through my journaling process and share some ideas on how to bring temple visits to life in your scrapbook. Here I arrange my photos to reflect different parts of the temple visit, from the temple entrance to statues and scenic spots. So as a tip, use close-ups of architectural details like statues or temple decorations along with broader shots of the temple grounds. This helps create a visual story of the space and atmosphere. To maximize space, I pasted two photos back to back and attached them as a flip up tip in, allowing me to include more visuals without overcrowding the page. For this spread, I included a fortune paper I received during our visit, along with a few cutouts of traditional symbols related to the temple. These little details help to capture the special aspect of the experience. So when you visit temples or cultural sites, try to collect small flat souvenirs like fortune papers, stamps, or postcards. These can be easily added to your journal for a more immersive experience. I use location marker stamps for each temple to clearly identify the different sites we visited. It helps in separating the experiences if you're journaling multiple places on the same spread. To add more dimension to this spread, I layered photos as small as illustration cutouts, which helps prevent the layout from looking too flat. So as a journaling tip, experiment with layering by placing smaller items like stickers or mini photos over large images. This technique adds visual depth and make the spread feel more dynamic and engaging. Adding interactive elements like tip-ins can also make your journal more interactive, giving you extra space for photos or notes without compromising the main layout. This layout truly brings our temple visits to life. Now let's move over to our next spread where I'll be documenting our food adventure in Taichu. To give context to the location, I've added a small map of Taichung at the top. This map not only highlights key areas we visited but also helps me visualize the journey and better connect with each spot on our itinerary. I've also included the photos from unique spots like the quirky modern toilet restaurant and our experience trying the stinky tofu. This images captures the memorable one-of-a-kind experiences that made our trip truly stand out. In addition, I've added a business card from our hotel in Taichung. I love collecting small items like business cards, receipts, or tickets from each location. They bring a personal touch to the layout and serve as a wonderful reminders of places I'd love to revisit. Scattered around the photos, I've written notes about the meals, my impressions of each place, and specific experiences like trying the deep-fried tofu and sampling a range of desserts. These personal reflections bring life to the page and allow me to relieve the moments. So this layout balances images and text 
ensuring that neither element overwhelms the other. So here's a journaling tip. Plan your layout by arranging images first, then fill in the text around them. This approach helps maintain a well-balanced and visually appealing spread, making your journal both organized and enjoyable to look through. And that wraps up this part of my Taiwan travel journal. I hope you enjoyed following along as I documented these memories. Now I'd like to know, have you ever visited Taiwan or is it on your travel wish list? What spots are you most excited to explore? If you're inspired to start your own travel journal or looking for more ideas and inspiration, be sure to check out my travel journal playlist for more tips. And don't forget to stay tuned for the next videos in this series, where I'll be diving deeper into more spreads and journaling techniques. Thanks for watching and happy journaling. Bye!